All right, everybody say it with me. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That means we have a brand new Beetlejuice 2 trailer. It's finally here. I don't love the title, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I think that's kind of redundant. I wish they would have just called it Beetlejuice 2, but it's here. This is like a big part of my childhood was the original Beetlejuice. I remember growing up watching it with my dad every October on like one of those AMC movie nights when they have like all the horror films playing. And this was one of those. And personally, I think this might actually have been my first introduction to who Tim Burton was. So I'm very interested in this teaser trailer. We've been waiting a long time for this. So without further ado, let's get into this trailer reaction right now. Surprise me. Come on, Warner Brothers. Don't disappoint me. Come on, Tim Burton as well. I like the camera. Love it. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> the juice is loose. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay. All right, so that trailer really showed nothing, personally. Um, it, but it did reveal a couple cool things. First, we're getting an IMAX, which I think is awesome. Second, uh, Tim Burton uh, directing this. We already knew this, but I think that's a huge part of this. And while I don't think Tim Burton has honestly done anything great in like the last 10, 15 years, this kind of seems to be him returning to form with what he's been wanting to do. And... The one big thing that I got from this trailer was the fact that it felt like an old school Tim Burton film. And that's kind of what I want from this. I like the rising of Beetlejuice. Like when he goes, the juice is loose, like that's fantastic. Also, the fact that Michael Keaton just can, it can still just roll right into that role, what, 30 years later, is exciting. Um, he's going to kill it in this. I love seeing Jenna Ortega. I like seeing O'Hara in here. Of course, Winona Ryder. The film looks good. I, I can't judge too much off this teaser trailer, but what I can say is that from just that tiny tease, it feels like classic Tim Burton, and that's what sorely has lacked from a lot of projects that he's been a part of. And I know a lot of people will be like, but he did Wednesday, and I wasn't the biggest fan of Wednesday, but I can say that you definitely could feel the Tim Burton influences in there. And I'm hoping that Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice can do the same. So make sure to leave that, your thoughts down below. Hit that like, subscribe button. And of course, until next time, stay classy.